Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays XCOM The Long War. And what a long war it has been with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 soldiers dead. I'm not particularly excited or proud of that stat, but I do think that we've been playing a little bit better recently. We've lost two soldiers and two missions, um, and starting to get a little bit more tactical. Good use of steady weapon. Um, learning how to use rockets and the fact that their effectiveness is actually reversed from the normal way that it displays effectiveness or aim percentage for a game. I forgot that we have a council mission. Uh, oh, I'm so excited for beam lasers to be done. Alright, let us do this council mission. I have heard that council missions are fucking nightmarish, so this should be good. So I've heard a number of different strategies for how to deal with um, missions where you have largely privates. That I, every time I laugh so hard. One of these days it won't be funny, but it's not going to be today. And one of the strategies that I heard a lot was um, give everybody or almost everybody that's a private a grenade and a med kit. I don't think it's the worst idea to have a, uh, a battle scanner. We could almost give an extra rocket as well, just in case. I like the idea of... Um, I like many ideas here, but okay, let's let's give a few people med kits here. I think we can afford to give three med kits and then have two people just decked out completely with grenades. Um, and we'll we'll start giving three med kits, two med kits. Let's go three med kits. Um, and I'll get rid of my high explosive grenades because I've never been able to use those effectively. So why keep taking them? Now I have heard that uh, flashbang grenades are something that I need to use because I did not know this. Maybe I would if I actually read the tooltip. Flashbang grenades cancel overwatch for an enemy and make them uh, a lot more likely to miss on the next turn. So let's take a couple of flashbang grenades too. And let's look at the tooltip. Robotic and psionic units are immune. Alright, that's fine. Suffer significant aim and movement penalties during their next turn. Beautiful. Okay. Now there are some other weapons we can take as well. Like for example, um, instead of using the assault rifle, we could give them the carbine. Now the carbine carries one less damage. But has a much higher aim chance. Yeah. Less damage and crit chance, but imparts plus seven accuracy and plus one mobility. I don't actually mind giving a couple of people a carbine. Um, just to increase our odds of actually, you know, being able to do some damage to the enemies. So let's give this a try. Uh, and we're just going to mix it up a little bit. I'm not going to take the SMG though. That's probably a little bit um, audacious. We'll put three people in these carbines. Um, just to mix it up a little bit. All right. Everybody else looks good. I, I really kind of desire a second rocket. But we're going to go without it, and, and we'll roll with the battle scanner instead. Anti-personnel grenades. Good, good, good. Let's launch the mission. I'm scared, but excited. And um, Europe has been just a fucking killing field for me lately, but... Okay, so we're in Lyon. Rotting paramour. We've already had the several paramour missions, but... Uh, okay. French military convoy was caught in an ambush. Convoy's current status is unknown. Be prepared for anything. Is this where we... Apologies, I'm just adjusting my microphone here. Is this where we discover chrysalids? Since we didn't do <clears throat> the terror mission. I hope that it is not where we discover chrysalids because we did not do the terror mission. speculation about this ambush on a French military convoy. But we don't have much to go on. Our primary concern is the council intel report indicating alien activity. In I know, I know, Central, it's okay. You don't have to be a big baby about everything. So I'm just taking a quick look at what we've got going on here. There's a rooftop. Rooftops are good, usually. There is um, a building. Buildings are scary as hell, usually. Uh, and then there's the, this whole, like, outside over here, which is wide open. So my hope is that we can get somebody onto a rooftop, maybe even our rockets here. Uh, we'll probably send two people up to do that. Let's start by sending some people out here, just a little bit. And we need to put them in a position where they can actually get to the roof on the next time. So I'm hoping that in doing this, we don't accidentally trigger any enemies. So we're going to take it very slow. Uh, what I've seemed to have learned from playing uh, Long War so far is that... Uh, Really, slow and steady wins the race, and, and defense is king. The last two missions, which we've done fairly okay at, I thought. Um, there we go. Uh, we, we basically just kind of found aliens right around our starting position and then hunkered down. Mind you, that was kind of out of necessity as well, because we didn't have any other choice in the matter, but you get the idea. 
Um, I'm actually going to lower the game volume a little bit, not to take myself out of things here. Let me edit options, master volume, just take it down just a little bit. Because uh, I think there was an update to XCOM that might have made this a little bit less, uh, less quiet. Alright, so let's send our least valuable soldiers out to trigger the waves, if there are any. So, Busidi Mbeki, you discover nobody, which is fantastic news. Then we'll move somebody over on this side out a little bit. Is that half cover? It is. Just to see. Because if we do find somebody, we want to stay flexible. You know, we want to have as many possible uh, outs as we can. So we'll have uh, Nakamura come around this way. No vision. It's a good thing. And um, Eliana Barlev. You should actually... I know. I remember giving you the carbine, so I think maybe you should change places over here. You probably don't need me to tell you that I'm not pleased necessarily about that. So we have two Seekers that have entered stealth mode. Where's some full cover? There's full cover. Please don't trigger another wave. Oh, thank God. Okay. Um, we're pretty unlikely uh, to have to actually deal with some of these enemies this turn. But everybody that can Overwatch will Overwatch. Everybody else, I'm just putting them behind full cover. We might just hold up and wait and, and hope that the enemies actually come to us, basically. So I'm going to move you, like, over here, actually. I think it will give you the best chance. I don't even know. where. I think maybe you're fine where you are. Everybody can just overwatch now. Um, yeah, so, I mean, truth be told, triggering enemies that are so far away it doesn't feel so bad. Basically, I'm expecting that we're going to have uh, Seekers come out of stealth mode around here, and then we'll get two free kills on the Seekers, more or less. That Thin Man is kind of what scares me. I hear no, yeah, no pressing uh, scary music, so... Well, we might as well move you up to this closer half cover. And then where's our battle scanner? Nakamura has our battle scanner. Which is a little scary. Because I don't know where to put you when you're my most valuable squad member. Um, I guess I'll put you here just to keep ourselves as protected as possible. And then maybe you should move back here, but it makes us so susceptible to an acid attack or something. I'm going to dash you all the way back here. And everybody else is just going to go on Overwatch. Um, I, I expect that those aliens won't be able to avoid uh, this juicy human-shaped snack over here, so I think Seekers or Thin Men will be coming out of the woodwork anytime now. Oh, uh, there's one. We have uh, four Overwatches firing. Only one of them hit? I only saw three shots, though. So that's unfortunate, obviously. Um, and there's another one that just came out. Oh, there's our other Overwatch. Yeah, Nakamura, one damage. My man. Okay. So with two Seekers, they're going to put two of our units in Strangulation. We'll only have four shots. Mind you, we should be able to take them. 82. 100. Let's take our 100%. What? Oh, it hit. It just didn't do any damage. Uh, so that sucks. You're being flanked, but please just... Oh my god, that was an 88% chance to hit. We only have two shots left. Give it a try, at least. Thank fucking god. Okay, so she'll catch her breath. Oh no, she actually has a shot. It's a bad one. But we might need to take it. Oh my... You've got to be kidding me. Well, the, actually, the strangulation ended, so we'll have a shot here. Again, not a good shot, but a shot nonetheless. Uh, definitely not worth using our pistol for this. So we can either overwatch or take the shot. I don't know. This is a flashbang. I kind of like the idea of taking the shot with a 28% chance to hit. That I'm assuming that was a miss. And then we'll overwatch with our other unit here if we, um, if we ever get out of glitch. Oh, no, we killed it. Okay. Well, I didn't see that coming. Let's overwatch again. So that's two Seekers dead, at least. And we've taken two damage to our squad. There's our Thin Man. He's quite a distance away. It's going to be a hard shot. Well, it's going to be an impossible shot now. 
All right, reload. Take it very slowly here. Reload. Reload. Overwatch. Reload. We used a surprising amount of ammo to get a surprising amount of misses. Now, I, I kind of just want to continue with business as usual and uh, go up on this roof with our next move. Um, Nakamura can't make it as much as I would like him to. So I think we're going to do on this turn, uh, Kikana will go over to the pole here. Nakamura will back her up. And these two will go up on the roof next time to get a good uh, little bit of vision. They both have assault rifles, so that's fine. Now, if you're going to be in half cover, um, you know, why not be in half cover? Or why not be in this full cover? This might be uh, better. Yeah, I kind of like that more, actually. And then we can move you up. Uh, you know, still not the greatest position, but move you up here at least. And everybody overwatches. Very defensive, but we are uh, two kills up on the aliens right now. Oh, there's a thin man over there? I never would have expected that. Okay. This bench isn't going to explode, is it? That's usually what that zoom in means. It's the last thing I need. So we've got invading aliens and fucking exploding park benches. That's where I draw the line, XCOM. So we're going to do a little bit of an aggressive run here. Not a dash, but an aggressive run to see if there's anything up here. And it appears that the answer to that question is no thus far. Which is great because it gives me uh, some ability to get up here. So I'm going to try to get a good vantage point over on this side. This building is actually a lot smaller than I thought it was. And you know what? I'm playing super defensively, but uh, everybody else is just going to overwatch just in case. We got a couple of things going on at the same time here. No need to, to get overly risky. Again, don't zoom in on this person unless that bench is going to blow up. I better see fragmentation splinters if we're going to get a zoom in like that again. Do we have vision or just, um, okay, it sounded like there might be an old washing machine over there. That's the universal sign for angry aliens. Uh, Nakamura, I'm pretty much going to dash you like here just so that on the next turn you can be in position. And again, everybody else overwatches. Um, we could probably take some time to look for a better cover spot for this unit. Like, even just a little bit closer under half cover seems smart. Uh, because... Then they'll at least have maybe like a 10% chance to hit a shot or something. Surely there is not two Seekers and one Thin Man on this mission. I refuse to believe that that could be a possibility. And we keep hearing... Oh! Where the heck did you come from? Oh, we hit... We didn't kill, but we hit. Don't overwatch. Or if they do overwatch, this is a really controlled use for a flashbang. No acid, please. Oh, end of the turn. Okay, that is super helpful. Uh, I may just use an anti-personnel grenade. Or two anti-personnel grenades. There's no overwatch here, though, so... I might feel like it's a little bit of a waste if I don't, like, run in here. They don't get an automatic overwatch, do they? I, like, these... They're, it's a commanding version, so I don't think they do, but... Oh, don't kick open the door, you fool. There's your flank. 100%. Good, 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 good. Okay. Good physics there, too. Thank God you didn't stand close enough to get covered in acid. Literally one tile away. I can be a little bit of an idiot sometimes. Okay, reload. 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 Now, you guys... You're not going to quite get there yet. Okay. Nakamura, I think you can go, like, here. Oh, we got a little more vision there. But overall, I accomplished my goal of not seeing any more enemies. Is there an enemy there, or is that just, like... I, I see the corpses. That's not necessarily something I'm super excited about. All right. Uh, Kakana, here we go. All right. There's no enemies up here. Or around here, I guess. Which means we'll probably be uh, taking a crack at uh, that next building. So let's start moving up. We sort of did it. Alright, Kristen Peterson. Kirsten Peterson, sorry. And uh, you'll go there. I'm sure you've been getting that your whole life. Like, my name's a little bit difficult. But, uh, you know, if your name's Kirsten, I'm sure you run into that problem more than I do. So I apologize for adding to it. Like, already when I, if I go to Starbucks and 
you know, you, you can go to Starbucks and say that without sounding like snobby, right? Because I was, when I was a kid, it was like, oh, you go to Starbucks, eh? What's the matter, Tim Horton's not good enough for you? And you're like, you must be some kind of fancy hoser over there. And, like, I apologize for adding the Canadian stereotype, but I did grow up in the country. Anyway, um, can we get, we can't get out here. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's widespread enough now. Anyway, and they'll say, you know, I'll have a large coffee. What's your name? Ryan. And then you get it back, and the cup says, like, Blake. And you're like, how'd you get Blake? Or, like, some name that I've never heard before in my life. It'll be, like, D-Lion. And you're like, did you think I said D-Lion? Anyway, you know, I it, it's it's not that it um, annoys me that much, cause who cares? I'm still getting coffee. I didn't have to farm the beans myself. Like what an asshole, right? Um, but it's it's just surprising the regularity with which it happens. Um, and I, I know it's not a uh, it's not a unique phenomenon for myself either. A lot of people go through that. Anyway, these are the kind of musings that we get in an intense uh, strategical game. Well, I uh, don't encounter any enemies. So, you know, it, it, maybe it's not obvious what my plan is here, so I'll articulate it. I'm going to move up very, very slowly. And then once we kind of breach the area um, that we want to go on the ground, uh, everybody else can overwatch. Um, then I'm going to move my rooftop soldiers up, and they're going to be kind of like my forward spotters. But the reason I want to move my ground forces up first is to make sure that, you know... What? Were killed by conventional bullets. Okay. Uh, of course these guys were killed by aliens. This is your first time playing Enemy Within? Um, but yeah, but the reason I'm using my ground forces first is because I don't want these guys to run up to the ladder and then be like, Oh, turns out there's uh, 12 Thin Men there. You lose. Because, you know, when you die in XCOM, it's not just you dying. Like, the whole human race dies. So, I'm, I'm trying to do right by people here and I think now um, we, we can probably move our uh, our rooftop units up close enough can you Nakamura you can go pretty far here we'll, we'll test it with you but I'm a little wary about this I'm just doing this because I still have five shooters left if this goes wrong good stuff okay uh, and then we can take Kakana over here very very slow mission so far but that's okay. Uh, everybody else overwatches. And one of the most important tips that I got on an earlier XCOM episode was, you know, not everything has to be rushed. But oftentimes, one of the best things to do is just trigger a wave of enemies, let those enemies come to you. And that's what we did with that Thin Man back there. And it's, uh, it worked. It wasn't necessarily easy, but it worked. Uh, and we did take some damage from the the Seekers, but that's just some low percentage overwatches. You know, I'm, I'm not sure what we can really do about that in the future. Alright, so we're up on the roof. Obviously, we don't have any vision, and, and that's totally okay. Start working our way out here just a little bit. Full cover whenever possible. And that's really, like, a lot of people say, Northern Line, you're terrible at XCOM. And you're not wrong. I'm, I, you know, the first... Oh, snap. Okay, that's still fine. Um, you know, the the smart man knows that he knows nothing, right? I know that I'm, I'm bad at this video game, but what I will say is that the first time I played uh, Enemy Unknown, and I beat the entire game on normal, I was still using, like, exclusively or almost exclusively half cover. What's uh, Overwatch here? Or maybe we can even Steady Weapon with, the, with you, and... Um, Steady weapon with you, because after we do this door breach, we might have a shot, but certainly uh, everybody else should overwatch. But yeah, I was I was truly awful, and uh, I exclusively used half cover, and then I tried to play like two episodes of Enemy Within on Classic, because I was like, I'd be normal and it wasn't that hard, and um, of course, it, it went terribly. Alright, so I'm thinking steady weapon might have been the right decision here. Do we have three? Oh, we have f five thin men now. Okay. Well, we do have some overwatches on the roof, thankfully. Hey, good stuff. That is going to make him very much killable unless he jumps down. Why would you do that? Okay, well, you know, we, we obviously have some issues here. We're lucky enough that we haven't been hit yet. But that can change pretty quickly. So, we're going to open the door, obviously. 80% chance to hit. That is why I steadied weapon. I don't want to talk about that so much. Um, 
68% chance to hit. This is a assault rifle versus carbine. You know what? I don't know if I'm ever going to take this uh, carbine ever again. Because so far it seems really, really bad. So we need to do two damage. I'm going to drop this anti-personnel grenade in here. Um, you know, it's not the most elegant solution. But it gets the job done. That was six damage with an AP grenade. That's absurd. Uh, so I don't know what we do about the, the variety of aliens we have. I think maybe we... We post up on this half cover on the wall, and then we just wait for like an Overwatch to come in, or we we, we Overwatch and, and wait for it to to work. Um, so I'm wary about th this. Looks like a sweet piece of cover right here, right? Go here, either like steady weapon or open the door Overwatch, and you get a good shot. But uh, it also scares the shit out of me because the aliens could just like walk around here and then have a flanking shot easily. Is this half cover? It is. Well, you know what? I'm actually gonna... You're not on Overwatch, right? Yeah, I'm gonna dash over here. Well, not dash, but move over here. And then if an alien comes through this side, you know, it's a little bit less aim. But at least I got a shot at it. So there's one of five thin men down. And this is where things are gonna get a little bit more problematic, I think. Yep, that's uh, not totally surprising. We also had a, a panic. We had two panics. Okay, that's terrible. Thank God they don't shoot each other that much anymore, though. And what about this one? Oh, thank God. Okay, that, it could have gone worse. This is a perfect opportunity for a rocket. Um, so, we only have a few shooters this time, of course. You have an anti-personnel grenade. That can seemingly get in here. There's, no, there's one Overwatch. Who has the flashbangs? You have the flashbang. Okay. What if I put you here, and then I give ourselves a second here to regroup? So I throw this flashbang in. It actually doesn't really have the kind of area of effect I was expecting. But we can at least flashbang you. If they were only like, if there wasn't that wall in the way. Ah, uh, well. We've only got three moves, and we have no frag grenades, which I did on purpose. Why flashbang this guy? It's because he has an overwatch, so we can move afterwards. Let's give it a try. At the very least, this will make it borderline impossible, I think, for him to hit us next turn. So he's disoriented, and it cancels his overwatch. Um, what else do we have here? So I'm thinking that we, we have to move Nakamura somewhere. But there might be an enemy down here. Oh shit, dude. Maybe I should like battle scanner or something, because otherwise I feel like I'm kind of trapped up here. Becky, where should you go? Uh I really don't like this position that we found ourselves in. I almost just want to throw in an AP grenade. And get get the ball rolling, right? Like start to hurt one enemy. Yeah, I'm trying to use the AP grenade here. Please let me use it. Maybe I have to click, I guess, instead of hitting the button again. Just, like, do some damage and whittle them down a little bit. That's good stuff. There was another Thin Man behind there that I didn't see, who was probably overwatching. So, I, I think we need to be able to shoot a rocket next turn. And my, my thinking about where we go as a result is like here it's a hell of a sprint and it, it puts us behind half cover if we're gonna go behind half cover why don't we just go like here or here well that's like way out in the open well, we can sprint like up here is that better for me I don't think it is very complicated situation here Luckily, we should have more shooters next turn, unless several of them die. What about here? Okay, let's compromise. This looks like a pretty good spot for me. Next turn, I could have an okay rocket, maybe. Alright, so there should be at least one disoriented unit. We injured some more. Um, they're immune to the acid, of course. Otherwise, that would make them the worst aliens of all time. This is not a surprise to me. 
We have more AP grenades, and uh, I think we might have more flashbangs as well. So the closer you get, the better. No panics, no panics. Thank God, okay. That's a, oh, it's just a suppression anyway. So you should have almost no chance to hit. Good stuff. Okay, so we only have four units left. We haven't lost our, uh, our good unit, though. No offense to the other units, of course. No flashbang. We actually don't have any flashbangs left? Wow, that's unfortunate. Uh, we do have an AP grenade. Might be the most valuable AP grenade of all time. You think we run past here? Drop it right in there. Is this really not going to hit the other unit? Well, why, why not take the 70% chance to just get the kill then? And save our grenade for a more important situation. What about a rocket? Let's look at our options quickly. Uh, so there's a decent amount of scatter there. And I'm worried because I'm shooting it close to a door, right? So that seems like it could be kind of deleterious. What are your shots? 52, 37, 37. I kind of like your 52% chance to just get the, the hit here. But what if I... Oh, I can't even move you that far. Let's let's take it. Roll the dice. Yeah, Nakamura. I remember when I hated you. Now you are briefly my savior. Now my thinking is... Um, now that gives us the opportunity to toss a... Uh, an AP grenade, like a rate on top of this dude's face. Which should remove the suppression from my other unit. If it kills him. It may not. Came very close. And we have one unit left with a 27% chance. I don't want to move out from this full cover. So honestly, I think I might just take that 27% chance for the kill. Oh, thank God. All right. Now, my hope is that this is the last thin man remaining. Obviously, um, you know, maybe an overwatch would be better than like a steady weapon here. So let's give it a try. Oh, he just hunkered down. Okay. Well, we got a 1% chance to hit him there. That's not very good. Got a 1% chance to hit. Uh, well, I say, if you need a reload, you take a reload then. So, that'll be you. And maybe there's some full cover that you would benefit from more. Not in, uh, not in the near future, at least. You know what? I'm actually going to move you behind here. Because you'll still have a shot, I think. No, you don't, but whatever. Who's got grenades? No, no, Nakamura has grenades. That's it. Full cover? Half cover. Not a lot of full cover in here. Um, so, I'm thinking that maybe you're going to be the one that saves me, Eliana Barlev. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we'll, we'll talk to them in a second. I thought that was another wave of aliens, and I was very concerned. We may have more thin men after this is over, by the way. But I'm going to steady weapon here. And then everybody else, just overwatch for now. And I'm hoping that you just hunker down. Yeah. Okay, so my, my thinking was that uh, as a result of this, now maybe I can bust open this door and get a better shot. Well, I wasn't wrong, was I? It is a better shot. Um, but I think if we go, like, here, we'll have a really good shot. But this, this might be a good compromise here. 91% chance to hit. Good stuff. Okay, so obviously we have to rush him now. Oh, okay. I thought I hit the wrong button. Like, very much the wrong button. Uh, this should be good. If this is bad, we have a problem. Thank God. Okay. Smart kill, I think. Now, uh, Nakamura, you can move up pretty far. I don't want you to run through the acid though, so maybe like here. Okay, I'm I'm pleased with that. We lost another two soldiers. I'm not so pleased about that, as you might expect. But everything else uh, is working out okay right now. Now, after we approach... I know there's someone alive over here, Central. I see them crouching down. They look like your brother or something. Is there a vested interest for you to get me to complete this mission? Um, I'm, I'm just concerned. Take a second here. That after we um, rescue the survivor, we're going to have to kill 100 Thin Men when we get back to the LZ, right? Was there meld over there? No, they were just lights. My mistake. 
Please don't make me kill a hundred thousand thin men on, on our way back here. That's affirmative. Just let me find them and life will be okay. We've already lost like more than, well, exactly a third of our squad to what I would say are, are not good dice rolls, but you may disagree. I should try to reach that survivor, huh? That's what, not why I was moving in this general direction or anything like that. Alright, hello. Of course, escort survivor to the evac zone. <sighs> That's a long trip. It was hard for us to get here in the first place. It's, it's only going to be harder on the way back. If this guy fucking dies on the way back, too, I'm going to be the saltiest. That is full cover, right? Thank God. I thought I'd, I had visions of me just throwing the entire mission. Let me overwatch. You don't even have a shot, so you get over here. Please don't walk in the fire. Thank you. Eh, more or less good. Um, Eliana, you're a surprisingly effective member of our squad right now. Let's do this. I expect all of the thin men ever. Oh, good. On the roof, too. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, so, turns out, probably should have left one of my soldiers on the roof, but I'm not sure I could have done that last part if I had. Yeah, there we go. You got a Jude Law situation there, motherfucker. Don't stand on the tank and expect everything to go okay. So, there's a dude on the roof. What do you do? Well, I'm assuming that at some point he'll have to come down. I hope that's not a terrible fallacy. At least there's some half cover here. And we might not have to actually... Uh, uh, let's try here. We might not have to actually kill all the aliens. We may just have to keep uh, everybody alive and get them to the, the LZ. Oh, you should be behind full cover. That's, that's totally my mistake. I thought you had a gun in your hands. My mistake. All right. So only half cover for you, Eliana. Don't die on this mission, though. You're my you're my new person to be named, potentially, if things go right. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. But okay, how many? Not two, just one. Just one. Just one. Oh, hello. I I should be dead. Like very very dead. But, I think that means that the Thin Man has uh, fallen off the roof, or, you know, jumped off the roof. We got two sec- nope. One sectoid, one Thin Man. Really? Really? This is just absurd. We killed one of the Thin Men. Okay, so we're still being flanked by one, and there's a hundred thousand around us. Taking a look at the situation as uh, as calmly as I can. There's okay. What about here? You'll be in half cover. You'll have a shot. Thirty-seven. Eliana. What if, what if Eliana goes here? Will she have a shot? I could dash her away. Worst case scenario. She's a sixty-four percent chance. Okay, take it. One damage! Eliana, you fucked us! You fucked us all! 37. 37's not very good. I gotta try, right? This won't kill Eliana, presumably, because she didn't glow red. And, uh, my luck continues. Thankfully. Is there full cover? No, it's all half. All right, everybody else, Overwatch City, man. You hunker down. There can't be any more aliens. There, we already have all of the aliens on this mission. We're fighting back the invasion single-handedly right now. Oh, they're over here, guys! You can't take a shot on this turn as well. That would just be ridiculous. 
All right, that sectoid is gonna get popped. Becky. Oh. Well, if you live, somebody's gonna have to go to the uh, target practice module if I ever build it. All right, I've been suppressed by a sectoid. That's okay. Now we got you. You should be very killable. So I'm just gonna come over here and kill you, unless we have a sawed off with it now. Okay. Let's not take too many chances here. Uh, we, <laughs> speaking of which, let's not stand right next to that alien, uh, thereby making it so we would totally get hit by the acid. Good. That's good. Now, if there were full cover in a half decent position, I would love to take it, but we don't really have that option right now. If we shoot, we will have to, uh, we, we gotta reload with you. Um, no flashbangs, huh? Mmm, half cover. My favorite. If we shoot with you, you're gonna have to reload next turn. You're probably not gonna kill that sectoid. But I think we're gonna give it a try, just to... Well, is it even worth freeing the suppression? Or is it better to take a pot of the Thin Man? I think it's better to take a pot of the Thin Man, then. I'm, I'm pleased with that. Uh, if I go here... You think I'll have a shot? I don't. Um, so I think I'm gonna reload. And you, my friend, uh, maybe run all the way back here now. Things are getting a little dicey. Alright, so the sectoid is gonna be able to move pretty much freely. Oh my god! He shot him through a wall! A sectoid shot him through the wall! There's the acid. Please tell me I gave that unit a med kit. So I failed another council mission. And again, I feel like it was kind of bullshit and I deserve not to have failed. Who's where's where's my my dude? There's my dude. Um your rocket chances are probably pretty low here, huh? Yeah, nil. Uh I'm gonna put you here. Well, if I can at least get my soldiers out, I'll at least You know, at least I've gained some experience on this mission. You're out of ammo, huh? You should probably get behind uh, full cover. Yes, Commander. You won't have a shot this turn, but next turn, you can come out and flank him. And Peterson, like, 32% chance for the kill or just hunker down? I think we hunker down for now to not take the acid bonus. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately. And then we take our 42% chance to kill the Thin Man. Barlev! Oh! You had such, you could have gone down into the annals of XCOM history! But you chose cowardice. Oh, that is maybe the best Overwatch of all time. Were it not for that, I would almost 100% be deceased. Let's try this with, um, oh. Oh, okay. What do you got, Peterson? 17? You're out of the acid, too. Um, let's try our 53%. It makes sense to me to take the high percentages first. Good, 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 good. All right, now the sectoid. We have a shot at it. A pretty bad one. Are you still under the effects of acid? How can I tell? Well, I can tell by moving, I guess. I like that you're behind full cover. Keep it up. Maybe overwatch there. Um, this sectoid is not on overwatch, so I'm going to sneak out here. It's a low percentage chance, so I'm going to steady weapon. Peterson, I'm going to have you hunker down. Alright, come on, sectoid. Don't cause me any more problems here. Just an overwatch, that's fine. 48%, that's our shot. Good stuff, okay. Hey, we did it, uh, sort of. We lost our person that we were trying to save, and we lost two squad members, but they were just privates, and again, to be honest with you, I felt like I kind of did okay. I am amazed that Mbeki or Barlev did not get any more, uh, any levels, considering they got four kills and two kills, respectively. Anyway, um, you know, what's done is done. Time to uh, go to mission control, scan for activity, maybe get a council report.
before the video ends. Josh is back, so that's a free mission. Zeta Jones is back. Uh, yes, I need engineers. Thank you. Scan for activity. Oh, here we go. All right, uh, we still got an A, so we got uh, over a thousand credits. So that's gonna do it for this episode. On the next episode, we're gonna start building some stuff. We need to build alien containment. We need desperately to build another satellite uplink. How do we only have... We still don't have enough engineers. How is this possible? How do, if I go here, can I see how many engineers? 18 engineers, I need two more engineers. Do we have pending requests? What, you'll give me a scientist, that's not what I need. Oh, we need to transfer a satellite to Japan. We, we need more uplinks to be able to build more satellites, or to be able to build more uplinks. It's, it's crazy town, anyway. Um, we can research something new in the foundry. We'll get this all sorted on the, the next episode, though. As always, thanks for watching. Progress is uh, being made, as usual. Two steps forward, one step back. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode and you're enjoying the series so far, well, thank you very much. Thank you for civil and kind feedback. Uh, that helps me out. It's uh, Otherwise, I would be probably lost already. I might be lost and not just know it already, but I might be like giving up already if I didn't have your feedback uh, and uh, advice. But in any case... Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.